So let's continue. Again guys, let's solve this problem using parallelogram law. Let's read the problem. Determine the angle theta for connecting member A to the plate so that the resultant force of force A and force B is directed horizontally to the right. Also, what is the magnitude of the resultant force? So, what we need to find on this problem guys is the value of our theta and also the magnitude of our resultant force. Also guys, let's remember that our resultant force guys is directed horizontally to the right. So now let's draw our forces on our x and y axis. So these are our forces guys on our x and y axis. So now let's plot our resultant force. It is already stated on our problem guys that it is directed horizontally to the right. So our resultant force is along on our positive x-axis. So this is where our resultant force is. So let us now draw our parallelogram. Since we will be solving this one using parallelogram law. So from the tip of our force A, let's draw a parallel line of the force B. So since this is parallel to our force B, this must also be 6 kN. And from the tip of our force B, Let's draw a parallel line of the force A. So this is also 8 kN. Also guys, the value right here, or the angle right here guys, is 40 degrees, which is on this side. Now guys, we already have our parallelogram. Let us now determine our interior angles. Since our resultant line is along our x-axis, so we can identify the value of our angle right here. Since the value of this angle right here is equals to 90 degrees and we already have our 40 degrees so let's subtract guys 90 minus 40 that is 50 degrees so this one right here is 50 degrees Now guys remember that the properties of a parallelogram guys alternate interior angles are equal So the alternate interior angle of this side guys is this angle right here so this is also 50 degrees and the alternate interior angle guys of this angle right here is on this side so they are also equal now guys by looking at our parallelogram guys our resultant line divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles so we can use one of the triangles in order to get the magnitude of our resultant force. Since in a triangle, we can apply the law of sine or cosine to determine its missing values. So let's choose this top triangle. So here guys, so this triangle right here is the same as this one. So let's copy the values. So on this angle, this is 50 degrees. This line right here is 6 kN. This is 8 kN. And let's name this side as our angle B. So first, let's determine guys the magnitude of our resultant force. And also guys, on this side, let's name this as our angle A. So let's get the value of our angle B first. Now guys, we'll be using the law of sine. So guys, sine B over its opposite side that is 6 kN is equals to sine 50 degrees over its opposite side that is 8 kN so our angle B is equals to arc sine 6 times sine 50 over 8 thus the value of our angle B is equals to 35.067 degrees so our value right here guys is equals to 35.067 degrees now guys in a triangle its total interior angles guys is equals to 180 degrees and in order to get the value of our angle A guys let's just subtract angles that we already have so 180 minus 50 degrees minus 35.067 now we can get the value of our angle A is equals to 
93 degrees so we can use this angle guys in determining our magnitude of our resultant force now guys in solving for uh, the magnitude of our resultant force so let's use again the law of sine so resultant force over its opposite angle that is angle 94.93 is equals to 8 kilonewton over its opposite angle that is 50 so sine 50 degrees so the resultant force is equals to sine 94.933 multiplied by 8 over sine 50 thus we can get the value of our resultant force is equals to 10.40 kilo newton and that is how we can get the value of our resultant force now let's go back to the question guys what is asked in the question guys is the resultant force and the theta now we already have the value of our resultant force now let's get the value of our theta which is right here now guys our angle B the 35.067 is only the angle on this side this is 35.067 degrees so in order to get the value of our theta let us remember that this is a right angle so that is 90 degrees and we already have this value so let's just subtract guys so theta is equals to 90 minus 35.067 so the value of our theta is equals to 54.93 degrees. And that is how guys you can get the value of our theta.